Well, it's time now to join TV6's Samantha Rivera trying out a fun, relaxing activity, watercolors and wine. Samantha, I got to know more about this one. That's right, Vicki. Well, if you're looking for something relaxing and fun to do here in the UP in this uh, fall weather, make sure to check out uh, Watercolors and Wine with Donna Leonard. It's held here in South Range at the Community Room at Vitality this Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. The class itself is $60 for the three full hours in it and is, of course, taught by Miss Donna Leonard, who has taught painting for over 15 years now and is, is so excited to teach you anything and everything about this activity. And for those of you who are a little nervous, about your painting maybe not coming quite out like Picasso don't worry that's exactly what the wine is meant for to help relax you and in just a little bit here I'll actually put it, be putting my painting skills to the test and honestly not to brag but I've taken a few classes so I might kill it we'll see reporting live here in South Range I'm Samantha Rivera TV6 News well if not don't hit the wine too soon okay <laughs> and it is a beautiful day to do <laughs> I'll try not to. okay well it's a beautiful day to do some painting <laughs> let's head over to weather side Six for more. You're watching your TV6 Morning News with Vicki Crystal, Andrew Lacombe, Samantha Rivera, and meteorologist Mackenzie Lee. Well, we do have a picture perfect day in some areas, and this morning we're joining Samantha Rivera testing her art skills for the watercolors and wine class. So in South Range. So how's it going so far, Samantha? Let's see how you're doing. Isn't that amazing? Just kidding, we haven't started. So again, we're here in South Range at the community room at Vitality. Um, we are previewing this watercolors and wine class that will be held here on Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. The class itself is $60. And we're here with Miss Donna Leonard, who will be teaching the class. Hi. Hi, good morning, Donna. Good morning, so Samantha. tell us, what are we going to be painting today? All right, we are just going to do a really quick little fall scene. Okay. And we're just going to get the brush wet and we're going to put it right on the page and how wet do we want this you want it just sort of wet not too uh, drippy okay just enough so that the paint will move on the page okay, and then we're going to take a little bit of this blue okay. and we're going to mix it on this tray right here so that there's no clumps in your brush okay. and then i'm going to start right at the top here and i'm going to go all the way across back and forth back and forth and it's going to lighten out a little bit as you get down about halfway. Yeah. And then we're gonna That's just rinse light. the brush off a little bit. Uh, uh, lighten as it dries. Okay. So it's good to put oh, some color on there. We're gonna take a little bit of this ochre and we're just gonna Ooh. go through Ooh, and make some. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I move really fast. I think uh, it just, and we're just gonna make a few trees back here. And take that all the way to the bottom. Okay. And then again, I'm going to just take a little, yeah, you got it. It's coming out all right. How does that look, guys? <laughs> and a little bit of burnt sienna, which I call happy brown. Ooh. And I'm just going to add a little that's bit right pretty. there just to give, this is all background. So you want it kind of nice and fuzzy, and that's what's yeah. going to give us a little, little dimension here. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this green. And then I want to add a little bit of this burnt sienna, I mean um, sepia, just to darken things a little bit. Okay. And you want to get that pretty dark. Let's take a little blue too. Okay. And now we're just going to use the edge of this brush and I'm going to pop in some spruce trees. Ooh. And you want that nice contrast, you know, going across. And then just, you know, kind of make it move. Let's, let's bring a little bit up into the sky. And that'll give us a little dimension there, too. Okay. And then okay. I'm just going to blend the bottom in a little bit. And voila. Wow. Okay. I. <laughs> You're doing <laughs> just close. fine. Okay. So I'm going to just help a little bit. And I'm just yeah. going to really get some paint on your brush. Yeah. And actually. I think I watered it down a little. A little yeah. Sometimes. Well, more water is good. So yeah. Because it's. it's uh, all right. Well, I we'll think those classes might have paid off, there guys. There you go. <laughs> Thank now you. Now just use the edge of the brush and just pop those trees in there like that. Okay. 
a little off. All right. Well, again, guys, we want to remind you this class is this Saturday in South Range at the Community Room at Vitality from 1 to 4 p.m. The class itself is $60. Reporting live here in South Range, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Oh, next time we're going to find out how to sign up for that because you're doing a great job and I might want yeah, it. That is impressive. <laughs> Very Just good. three minutes. Good work, Samantha. Yes. <laughs> Use more water. I learned that from one. This weekend, the Community Room at Vitality in South Range is hosting a water, colors, and wine class. Tickets are $60 for a three-hour class from 1 until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. TV6's Samantha Rivera is live right now in South Range to find out more. Samantha, how's your painting coming along? Hey Andrew, the painting came along pretty well. I think I did a pretty good job for my first time. No wine though, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but we are here back with Miss Donna Lennard. Sorry about that, I got her name wrong before. Um, she will be teaching the class here on Saturday. Again, one to four, uh, $60 for the class. So Donna, tell us a little bit about um, the age range that you, you typically expect for this kind of class. Usually adults, but like from, you know, uh, late teens all the way through you know, 90s. Come yeah. on down. <laughs> yeah, right. Definitely. And also with us is Dr. Sarah Dur Durenzo. Durenzo, yes. yes. Sarah, so tell us a little bit about how you and Donna met and decided to create this class. Sure. Um, I actually grew up down the street from Donna, and I had gone out of the area for years, and when I opened up the gallery, I was looking for artists, and I reached out to her right away. And from there, it naturally became an awesome thing for her to come in and teach in the community room. Um, where our goal is to create happy and healthy communities. So everything from art to health classes to yoga. Um, we're always looking for teachers. We're always looking for students. And it's just about creating that community space. Mm -hmm. And Sa Sarah, tell us a little bit about how this community room came to be in general. I, I love that story about the business plan and how sure. all that came together. Sure. Um, I opened my own chiropractic office uh, last July and I had always wanted to have this community space. I knew it was here, but I didn't have the funding. And so I had entered a business plan, um, not expect a business plan competition, not expecting really anything out of it. Six months later, after hearing nothing, I figured I had just lost and um, I, I got a call and they told me I had won five grand. And so this is what I did to create this community space. So that was my goal. And so it's awesome to see it finally thriving and, and working. Yes. And you told me this is technically the first official class with wine before you would serve it occasionally, but this is the first one where you'll have wine in the title, right? Absolutely, yeah. We, we would maybe bring a offer to share, um, <laughs> but, you know, everybody seemed to love it, and it just loosens that hand a little bit. Everybody has a good time, so we mm -hmm. thought, why not embrace it? And, and the response has been great. That sounds great. And if we move over to uh, one of Donna's paintings, I want to quickly tell the story. Well, have Donna tell the story herself. How did you fall in love with uh, painting the Northern Lights? I always wanted to go to Alaska, so I did. I moved to Fairbanks, and uh, I was living in my first dry cabin and uh, had to step outside late to go to the outhouse, <laughs> and uh, the Northern Lights were going crazy. So. <laughs> Uh, I ran back in and started painting them, and really, if I had indoor plumbing, I would have missed the whole show. <laughs> um, so, and I've just had so much fun painting Northern Lights, and I just, I haven't looked back. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, if you want to try and paint something like uh, Donna's painting here of the Northern Lights, make sure to come out to the class this Saturday in South Range at the Community Room at Vitality. Again, the class is $60. It's from 1 to 4, and $60 will get you those three full hours. Again, reporting here live in South Range, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Thank you so much, Samantha. Great painting there this morning.